Hey, what's going on, guys? Ripster here. I came across something kind of disturbing. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm going to play it. I'll give you my thoughts on it afterward. Henry Cavill is out as Superman, according to a news story by The Hollywood Reporter. He had been uh, he had been talking to Warner Brothers in DC about a cameo in an, an upcoming Shazam movie, but talks broke down and the studio apparently won't be making another standalone Superman movie for years. Oh, we did get a statement from Warner Bros. about the story. They say, quote, while no decisions have been made regarding any upcoming Superman films, we've always had great respect for and a great relationship with Henry Cavill, and that remains unchanged. All right, so a couple of things here. So scheduling conflict. Apparently, the they're trying. The studio is trying to focus on like a super, uh, super girl movie. They want to focus on like a teen heroine. Mm -hmm. um, he's got a new show on Netflix. Uh, what is it called? Netflix series The Witcher. Yep. Um, and then also, I guess the the studio was unhappy about previous movies that were made. There were things that they didn't like. Yeah. Right. And then um, DC fault. wants to reset. So there's all of these things. What was Must your be thought, thought, though? Alive. I want your yeah. initial thought. So my initial thought, when I saw scheduling conflicts, I was thinking, <laughs> oh, does this have to do with his comments of on Me Too pertaining to all that when he was saying, I'm afraid to flirt with girls, I'm afraid to take them out on dates because I'm going to be accused of being a rapist. That started trending on Twitter when that news broke. And yeah. he had to apologize and come back, and people were like, how dare you say that? What? I don't think... So, I, th I thought that really tainted yeah. his image, and that's what I initially thought. I was like, whoa, maybe it has to do with that. I don't know so much if it has to do with that, then, like, DC is just... Every day, they're announcing a new movie, canceling it, saying, this person's playing this character. Just kidding. They're not. We know Ben Affleck is out as Batman for any solo movies. I think, listen, Superman is a really hard role because it's not the most interesting of superheroes in terms of, like, the charisma. And so oh, I think crap. any actor, no one's ever been, aside from, like, Christopher Reeve, has been a definitive Superman, yeah. in a sense. Well, I guess that's and true. if they're, you know, a source kind of compared to a James Bond role where you can recast well, this role a lot, I think, once again, DC is maybe going to try to reinvigorate their Justice League franchise because it didn't really perform as well. So, I mean, I think they're just kind of scrambling. Okay, well, a couple thoughts here. I, you know, I get that DC is wanting to re redo everything because, let's face it, the DC universe, ever since Batman vs. Superman, has just been going downhill. Wonder Woman, they had a nice hit with that one. But it just seems like they're rushing. And I don't know if that has something to do with it or Cavill's comments about, you know, the rape thing and, and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of disappointing to me knowing that they finally got a, a good guy playing the role that nobody else could measure up to Christopher Reeves. Now, I do agree with what she said. Christopher Reeves was a classic. He played that part awesomely. This whole Henry Cavill mess is just... I knew I knew it was coming from them wanting to redo everything, but I wasn't expecting this. I hope you like this reaction video. Like, subscribe, and get reputized. And thank you for watching. Peace the rep out.